Hello, and welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Kira. This is Kit. And today we're going to be reacting to Might and Magic 6 Re-Review Dementia Trademark Edition Trademark. And be sure to a like, a comment, share, and subscribe. And ding, 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 hit that ring bell notification. And if there's a video you want us to react to, well, you know, you got to just type it. Let us know in the comments. In the comment section below. We'd love to hear what you think or what you want. Yeah. All, All right. right. Might and Magic. Magic. Here we go. Hey, hey, people, it's Paul Anthony Romero here. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Shout out to my man, Paul Anthony Romero, the actual composer for the entire Might and Magic series. He made oh. like uh, nine takes of this intro. Bless your autism. Today, we're doing two <laughs> things for the first time. One, I'm re-reviewing Might and Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven. Why? Oh, because my game. original wasn't okay. very good, so I took it down. Completely unrelated, but it also featured hardcore pornography in the <laughs> first few milliseconds. Yeah? Two, I'm not actually reviewing Might and Magic 6. I'm reviewing Might and Magic does it really inside you know? Might and Magic 8. Listen. Uh, all right, everyone. Hey, look. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know anything about this. Does it really have pornography? I'm. Let us know. I'm. I'm, I'm interested. I'm, <laughs> I, I am interested now, too. Uh, does that make us good people? Yeah, sure. It does. Maybe. Yes, it does. It's complicated. Some time ago, a madman decided to merge Might and Magic 6, 7, and 8 inside the Might and Magic 8 engine and uh, mod the shit out of it. How does it work? No idea. My coding experience is limited. <laughs> Would you like to buy something? See ya, cheapskate. But it's very fun. All you need is a copy of Might and Magic 8, Day of a Destroyer from GOG, and to follow the instructions linked below. Right, let's get to the meat of it. Seth, why you play in a bunch of first-person RPGs more than two decades old? I don't know. Because nostalgia <laughs> is a hell of a drug, and my emotional cortex is holding me hostage, falsely associating the first time I ever played these games with the positive connotations of being a child. That's what why the? I'm here right now, walking through a gray-brown corridor, searching for a tiny button on the wall <laughs> the color of puke that will help me access the next part of this endless, featureless abyss. That's also why there's grown-ass men out there wearing <laughs> Zelda t-shirts in public, because they played before life got complicated and <laughs> related to a simpler time before mom and dad got divorced Aww. before dad caught yellow fever and came back with a new mommy from the philippines oh, the mod uh, titled mm. world of enroth <laughs> lets happens. you start in any one of the free games but i guess you know, like, you know i mean hey we gotta embrace new people you know the whole but nothing is for, uh, for i mean I, you do, he can do whatever he wants i guess I and, mean. and also she can do whatever she wants to Oh, I mean, obviously. Yeah, obviously. So there obviously, go. I don't judge. I don't yeah. judge if he has an affair. Yeah. That's not my business. Yeah. Meh. 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 Games allows you to travel across worlds and complete all the storylines. I suppose you'll be watching Shatterface. Don't mind the rats. <laughs> the lore explanation wow. for this is that the other two groups of heroes have been accidentally written out of time. This might sound ridiculous. On the other hand, I'm in a universe where I'm spending all my time getting the approval of the medieval United Nations <laughs> so I can Whoa. visit their oracle downstairs, which is actually an ancient supercomputer you have to restore by finding all four of its RAM sticks. So what? it can oh give God, you the yeah. prophecy that you will visit the oracle and return sure. upstairs with an ancient weapon that will help expel the devils from Enroth. A fucking gun, which comes in two flavors, gun and gun with capitalization. Blaster, blaster now, before rifle. I go on to explain that angel... All of a sudden, I'm getting some uh, Warhammer 40k vibes from this because only through ancient tech can you stop the hellish monsters. I'm just thinking that I'm just going to call guns blasters from now on. I All think it's right. a much better yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, we believe in uh, that everyone has the fundamental right to own a Blaster. A blaster. Exactly. Right. In Heroes of Might Magic Free are actually synthetic androids, or that devils are actually a race of aggressively expansionist aliens, and that the reason we're inside a medieval fantasy setting is because we nuked ourselves and took out the entire interplanetary Stargate network to slow their advance. I'll make the quick point that the actual lore of this game is insane enough already. Let's talk about... <laughs> All right. Okay, that, that, sounds, that sounds a little crazy, but you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> it, 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 I, I would say 40k, but actually that reminds me of George R. R. Martin's Thousand World series, 
where there was an empire, a human empire, but it fell into an interregnum. Okay. And it kind of goes into the theory that I kind of believe that Game of Thrones isn't really fantasy. It's science fiction. More on that for another day. Gameplay. First and <laughs> foremost, check this out. We got mouse look. I don't have to press page up, page down each time I want to rotate <laughs> my neck. Because we're in the latest engine, you can have five party members, which can be swapped out and replaced at any time. For really? my current party, we started in Might and Magic 6. Why? Because they got the best portraits, and one of them looks like Johnny Depp. Just look <laughs> at his bright smile as he murders an entire crowd of women. You can complete the game Jeez. with any combination <laughs> of party members. But who am I kidding? No. No, you can't. There's shit out there that turns you to stone, gives you autism, causes schizophrenia, induces narcolepsy, goblinization, smallpox, death, and eradication. Do you know the difference between death and eradication? With death, you still got a body to revive. With eradication, there is not a single <laughs> left of your body. Wow. That's amazing. A lack of existence. Thus, I strongly recommend you get a cleric and a sorcerer. Others claim you can survive with just a druid. But here's a hypothetical. Somebody dies. This is like the the druid can revive him. The druid dies. The druid yes, is revived. Yes, it does. <laughs> he is dead. Immediately upon starting the game, you're going to click the left wall of the bank, take a scroll of fly, pop it, and fly to the top of a smuggler's guild. Do try to be quick, or you're going to find out what that little tower up there does. Click oh. the wall and teleport yourself to a fucking endgame area where you're going to quickly evade all the dragons, get inside the shrine, and get a permanent plus 20 to all of your attributes. Then hug the <laughs> inner wall and keep smashing left until you teleport again. Imagine what being the? so based that oh, you program man. in a one-to-one -one replica of your development office. If I was into video games, and I'd include play your this. boss as a fucking goblin <laughs> you kill inside his office. What? Because that's exactly what the staff of New World Computing did. Walk inside the office, go to the payroll desk, pay yourself a salary. You yeah, deserve there we go. It. Go to the canteen, instant, load up on food, eat check. some curry, get food poisoning. Instant. Don't worry, we'll get revenge on the ones responsible very soon. Walk inside John Van Kanigam's office, become afraid, but you can't can't be fired. You quit. Smack him dead. Walk to the promotion desk and give your entire party a mega buff, which will last for as long as you're able to stay awake. That's fine, because <laughs> we don't need sleep. Teleport out of the office. Run. Hug the outer left wall of the shrine and keep smashing left click. Teleport back to the starting town. Now, you're going to go on a rampage and kill everything <laughs> on the map. Don't stop until you're done. If yes. sleep deprivation kicks in, rub caffeine powder directly into your eyes. Once it's all over, congratulations. Wow. You've essentially skipped the entire start of Might and Magic 6. The world is your oyster. Rotten hell, you penny-pinching miser. As you can tell, what? I play this shit way too much. <laughs> However, the mod can still surprise me. You might get a side quest in the beginning to return a certain candelabra to a certain cult. Don't do it. My reputation tumbled to the negative hundred, <laughs> all because I returned a single menorah to the cult of Ba. It does make sense, since the cult is trying to directly usurp the king. How do they plan to do that? By by offering cheap and affordable health care. I know, <laughs> it makes me sick to my stomach. They even laugh maniacally. <laughs> oh, <that's awesome. laughs> Each time I walk out, knowing full well I won't have to sell my house or my children to pay for treatment. As a result, yeah. every guard in every city yeah, tries to reduce the yeah, number yeah, of definitely. limbs I possess. This might not sound too bad, except reputation directly controls the price of everything. Positive Whoa. rep lets you buy and sell at 100% of a real value. Negative rep reduces the sell price of anything to a single gold coin. However, what? the cost of buying anything will keep increasing forever <laughs> because negative reputation is an infinite spiral. So you can't sell shit, but you can't buy anything either. The only way out of it is to bribe the church. Unfortunately, donations are now a lot more charitable. I'm not talking a loose change kind of charity. I'm talking Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation kind of charity. The but cheapest donation now. is 150 G's for a single point of reputation. And uh, we need 200. I don't have that kind of cash. So I reload my game and pretend it never happened. That's right. Except it did. And I saved over it so I can't go back. <laughs> Later in the game, I went to the Superior Temple of Ba and accidentally did a mini quest for them. Do not talk to that fucking head. <laughs> Listen, I had something like uh, 400 Do positive reputation. Let me show you how much head. I have now. Yeah, it's at a healthy negative 1400. <laughs> I did some quick math and uh, I'm here to tell you 
I can't afford <laughs> shit. Luckily, when you <laughs> jump across time and space, reputation doesn't follow. There's many locations where you can dimension door across worlds, but I found out I can just drink all the water in this fountain and <laughs> take the secret express route. So I went to Might and Magic 8, got myself a member of the chosen people, and came right back. Now, nobody questions me. War crimes? Don't know any. I've ran after <laughs> My hustle is supreme, and you yeah. will pay me a fair price for these shoes. Besides these two little hiccups, everything else in the mod <laughs> works perfectly. <laughs> Graphics have been upscaled to fit modern resolutions, which is great since you'll be spending <laughs> most of your time staring at pixels. The only stuff which yeah. isn't baked in textures is the pre rendered scenes in the shops, houses, and taverns across the game. These still look really good for something made a century ago. Personally, I like to go drinking in shadow. Spire. They know how to treat their elvish compatriots because they've got one in the fucking uh -huh. chandelier. There's now extra options to increase render distance and to turn on the weather, which, under every circumstance I've ever pressed it, makes it impossible to see shit. The music <laughs> is delightful, <laughs> as always. I never talk seriously about this, but Might and Magic has an insane soundtrack. Is it like the quiet time during like a jazz set? This shit is designed to unsettle you, and I love it. Also, <laughs> the sound is crisp, and it's really crispy each time you take a boat. <laughs> is a game with Sounds a like a time on the boat to me. Like, like <laughs> in this game, we yeah, right? first and justify it later. For example, Misty Islands. I need you to investigate an organization for evidence of corruption. How do we do that? We break in, we murder everyone. <laughs> we find a single scroll that says... <laughs> Corrupt, and we get justification for our preemptive massacre. That doesn't mean the game is simplistic Do those compared to the make size those and complexity. I'm gonna go with a yes. You think so? Yes. And if you know more about their facial expressions, type it in that comment section below because uh, we don't know. Of the average Might and Magic 6 dungeon to the average cave in Skyrim. Ooh. No comparison. Many quests and dungeons in this game will drive you insane. What's that? You didn't realize that scroll of telekinesis on the floor wasn't random loot and actually was meant to activate an unreachable button you accidentally missed and now you <laughs> sold the scroll? Sounds like a personal problem. Did you just dive into a series of dwarven tombs without recording the steps you took? Which may be necessary in case you ever want to leave and my personal favorite would you like to promote your monk into a ninja then i hope you like cryptography because oh boy i got a cipher puzzle for you luckily people have suffered through this shit two decades before you so the suffering is optional this game has something for everyone for 12 year old me this game was all about going to the wine cellar in tatalia killing the necromancers there and reanimating them so i could look at their ass please understand this was before we had internet i didn't know any better, so I have to make sure <laughs> it's like Plato's allegory of a cave. Except in this yes. cave, everyone's a degenerate. If necromancers weren't a <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's face it, you know. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, she's got a really nice ass. Yeah, you know, I mean, let's face it. This is before the internet. This is before oh, Pornhub. So, you know, I mean, so look. So funny. Younger generations, the struggle was very, very, very real. Enjoy your blessings of the interwebs. Yeah. Available, my next best option was genies, medusas, and if I'm very desperate, water elemental. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Until you're looking at a wow. fish. Wow. Wow. That's getting. Like I, I said, mean, those are, game that, 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 for those are some tits, so right? Here's a list of features to a I type yes of tits. <laughs> Explore immersive, magical landscapes, which are composed of about 10 <laughs> polygons. What did it's going to be a little bit of a nose. 300 me. megahertz processor. Your refrigerator I mean, could probably run I'm, this game. I guess, Plus, like, adventure children dark, were playing great like corridors. <laughs> yes, of our, uh, of not only of uh, previous generations, but also. Uh, of our generation mm -hmm. too. Yeah, yeah. And now everyone can. Cause what it's year was this? 
Did two, we say 90s? I think two decades ago. That's the way to navigate is by muscle memory, which you don't have. Ago, Acquire objectively so, yeah, yeah. better gear. Four Throw decades. it away because a real man dresses for fashion over That's function. Right. Commit violence against everyone equally without discrimination. Originally, this game produced a lot of controversy <laughs> after a yeah, yeah, magic player smacked dead a Hindu, believing he was a <laughs> follower of Ba. Hard to believe, but true. And if you let me edit the wiki article, I can prove it too. Real talk, this game is actually quite endearing. The developers pretty much went around and asked people, yo, you want to be in a video game? <laughs> I'll make you a gypsy. That's why most of the portraits are actually real people. Dig through piles of That's trash. So Catch STIs in the process. Drink from strange water sources. Get mutilated by a fucking minotaur. Go through the whole game in real time because you're not an arthritic old man. And switch to turn-based mode whenever it's more convenient. Abuse turn-based mode to fly up and down between animations and dodge every attack. Wow. <laughs> and you can just fly above the world and cast Meteor Shower all day. Honestly, why would you even go into a dungeon when you can just buy all the items in town and enchant them for 10 times the original price? Learn wow. the value of different skills, such as Oops. Disarm trap. Assert your dominance by yelling at the peasantry and forcing them to run through your magical minefield. Any death or injury is purely accidental. <laughs> Besides, even if they do die, we can just reanimate. No there you go. You're no alive. Foul. Run around town and recruit the only two useful NPCs, an accountant and a banker, which take 5 and 10% of your earnings, but increase them by 10 and 20. In Ooh. this game, there's no income tax, but there is tax on inheritance, and you pay that each time you die. How much exactly? 100%. Avoid that by storing your capital inside the dark elvish central bank. Your gold is safe with us. Visit the arena. Participate in the arena, especially at low levels where you'll be spending your time killing cats and strangling chickens. Visit the circus. They're always on tour in one of the three most popular holiday destinations of the world. Werewolf Town, Undead Town, and of course, tropical islands filled with cannibals. Disclaimer. <laughs> if you don't want to see hardcore pixelated gore of cannibalized women, don't go to Bootleg Bay. Conversely, oh. if you're into that stuff, uh, go to Bootleg Bay, Whoa. cast Armageddon, nuke the entire map, and kill everyone in wow. town. Lose not a single point of reputation. Sell a single human bone to a private collector. <laughs> Lose five. A single Actually, point of enjoy reputation. the world and get immersed hey, who's, into who's gonna be around <laughs> None of this shit I makes sense. True. In conclusion, I give this mod and all the games merged inside it a childhood out of ten. I'm extremely Aww. biased, and I know it. Remember, you only need Might and Magic 8 for the mod to work. But if you're interested, I hustled my man at GOG <laughs> to put all the Might and Magic games on sale. Follow my link, and you get discounts on all of them. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. A warm thanks to the many members of a Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. Except this one, it's uh, also a freebie. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. What did we just watch? That was pretty funny. I liked that, it. That was hilarious. I, it was great. And you know, I think it's I, I think it's time for a song. It's the might and magic <laughs> adventure time Ooh. with the might and, and magic. magic. You're out there exploring the world. It's might <laughs> and magic. You got a blaster. It's your right. It's might. And it's magic. magic. It's uh, half naked girl. Oh no. my <laughs> and magic adventure awaits. Well, all right. I, I think we got to work on the songs a little bit more, but uh, that's just a sample. Be sure to buy the album. Yeah, when, <laughs> when it comes out. When it comes out. Well, like, I mean, we got yeah, a lot to yeah, do. Yeah, we got a lot on our plates. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah, no, that was that was funny. Um, it it just cracks me up that I mean, just I mean. I don't wa I don't look I don't watch video games or look at video games really and I do understand that you know women have been very historically like objectified um, inside of yes, video games. Yes, but that doesn't mean to it's put it bad. nicely, like you know, it does, it's that's bad putting thing. it very nice. But like that's that's simmered down quite a bit, right? Yeah. Well, I mean. You know, it's, it's 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 an adventure game. It's fa it's fantasy. I mean, I guess that's fair. I mean, it's fan. It's you know, little I boys' mean, fantasy. I mean, I mean, yeah. it, it, it's fan. In real, look, look, real life will do more damage to a person than anything in fantasy. Okay, <laughs> I'm not saying it'll do anything to a person. I'm just like, oh wow, like 
I okay, so I just became a mom. Okay. And I imagine have I didn't have a boy, but I imagine having a teenage boy and like passing through the living room while he's playing a video game and like Is, is that a half that Nick? mermaid? <laughs> What are I you mean, doing to that mer woman? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I think I would just be like, hey, like, honey, most tits don't look like that, okay? Just, yeah, so just remember. Just, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> and, and most women don't look like fish women, okay? Just, if that's the thing you're I mean, into. Yeah, it's like, mom, leave me alone. Mom, I'm playing a video game. About their tits. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, that, okay, I never knew about my magic. If you guys know a little bit more of the lore, type it in the comment section below. Game of Thrones is uh, science fiction. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that conversation. I'm, yeah. I'm happy to have it, but uh, probably just not on this reaction channel. Yeah, there we go. Bye-bye. Peace.